Hi friends, I'm Sincerely Unique and I am back with more Final Fantasy XIV story content. We are on the home stretch here of the Omicron Strive. We have two more quests. And this one should get us the mount. Mostly heartless. It is possible that your projections regarding the consequences of the current mission were insufficient. R reports from behind the counter indicate that dragons have achieved social integration with other customers. This is ideal. There is a naked Hrothgar next to me. <laughs> have you seen them in Elysian? They're flying again. Goodness, I'm so happy we could help. To my eye, it looks as if we are at least popular with the last stand now. Albeit with a bit more diverse clientele. I'll let you be the judge of that though. Shift protocols engaged. Huh? Oh. Okay, we're going. I think I read that all in the robot voice when it was jamming way talking for half of that. I don't know. It's... It's... I just woke up, y'all. I've been stream... I streamed 10 hours yesterday. And I'm probably gonna stream... Hopefully for only 5 hours today. Actually, no. I'm probably gonna stream for 10 hours again today. It's okay. Friday, uh, will be shorter streams again. But yeah, I've been... I've been chit-chatting away. Uh, our cup overfloweth, metaphorically speaking. Literal beverage overflow is a nominal. <laughs> Very nominal. I'm so happy with the, the cafe turning out. This place looks so good. So many people hanging around. Oh, look at the cute little... I love the, the little race in the corner there. Oh, I love the smell of carrot coffee and eternal twilight. And look at all these contented customers enjoying our cuisine. This is more than I could have ever imagined when I proposed this idea. The, this unit is struggling to generate ideas for improvement. Are all cafe objectives now complete? I suppose you could say that, though. It is a strange way to view one's accomplishments, don't you think? In accordance to the directive to all Alphatron registered units to live, this unit's mission is to assist fallen civilizations in reclaiming lost hope through simulation. Soup or other means necessary. It appears this has been accomplished. If so, then this unit must complete its performance evaluation immediately. Performance evaluation? That sounds dreadfully dull. Rather, yes. Nevertheless, this unit must adhere to standard operating protocol and analyze the results of our cultural preservation efforts. Evaluation results to determine whether this unit may continue to embrace the familiar inertia of the current mission. If all potential objectives have been fulfilled, they will once again consign itself to hibernation. Huh? Well, are you sure? Allied units may wish to know that the interim evaluations indicate the latter result is likely. This unit has collected more than sufficient data proving that, with the appropriate stimulation, even despairing lifeforms may once again hope. No further research on this subject is required. Logically speaking, to continue along the current trajectory would be a waste of energy. Uh, that's really not hopeful way of looking at things. That's really not. Oh, you are really fluffing my fur right now. It's like you weren't even listening to my lectures, plural. We are finally at the point where we can operate this cafe without well, one civilization or another reinventing the apocalypse. And you want to kick the bucket? Come a little closer and I'll kick it for you. Oh, <laughs> very aggressive. This unit reminds the screeching life form that Omicron decision-making algorithms do not prioritize emotion. Well... They should, and this mission has ever been about, never ever have been about experimental data, and you know it. A waste of energy, my furry arse. Our feelings matter to the Dynamis, they matter to the universe, so why don't they matter to you? <laughs> He's confused now. This unit does not know what to tell you. Fine, be that way, see if I care. This unit will proceed to base Omicron to backup unit data before shutdown protocols initialize. 
Additional personnel changes may follow, but Stigma 4 will minimize disruption to cafe operations. This unit acknowledges the non-zero possibility that it may return, but at least for the moment, it leaves the last dregs in your capable appendages. Farewell. <laughs> Um, uh, this, is, this, is, this is a little bit of tension going on between these two. Have we moved past the anger stage yet? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, this is horrible. We can't let 7,000 to enter the permanent hibernation. What will the cafe do without it? What will I do? Uh, you gotta go talk to them, then. I'm, I'm calm. How do we stop it? Even if we catch up to it before it reaches base Omicron, I doubt it will want to speak to me after any my outburst. I guess I'll have to go talk to him then. If you go alone then, I'll take the time to gather my thoughts. And we are off. We have to fix this. What do you have to say, little bunny? Deep breaths. Jamming way. Deep breaths. What about you? You're new here. Mayhap one day, fate shall see fit to reunite me with my far away kin. A dragon can but dream. I'm trying really hard not to make the dragons sound like robots. <laughs> I, I, every, you know, I love that they put these teleporters in, but people don't care and just fly. They just fly. Whisper silently. Oh, it's time to cry. <laughs> Oh, excuse me for the sneezes. Request for personal data acknowledged. Scanning recent automatic transmissions of internal processing logs. Unit N7000 accessed the logical process records of SIR and has been engaging in analysis and projection related to the same. The operational protocol governing these peculiar actions cannot be determined at this time. This unit wishes you pleasant speculation. Alrighty, perimeter control unit. Request for location data acknowledged. Searching base Omicron monitoring logs. Sensors indicated and 7,000's progress toward the fallow portal. Calculations indicate that it will have proceeded just past the empty portal toward the limit of Ostracon Decahexi by the timecode at which the organic life form can catch up. We have to go find him. All the way over there. Um, I know there's a teleporter, but guess what? We're flying. God help you if you don't have flying yet for this area. Literally, how can you conveniently do these trap quests without flying? I have friends who still don't have their Aether Currents. Oh, excuse me for the constant sniffing, y'all. I don't... I, I think I might be getting sick. Well, what are you going to do now? The signals of an allied unit are not unwelcome. But why did you follow this unit here, Salix Girasol? Why did you come here? Well... This unit has been analyzing logs originating from M017. L alias Sigma-1 alias Sir for some time now. As unit M017, it repeatedly paid visit to the Tree of Life to analyze internal projections. The impetus for this action was logged as personal reasons. In other words, when its protocols were insufficient, M017 came here to ponder its next course of action. This unit had hoped the tree might provide data of use in its current dilemma. Nope, such data has been forthcoming. In retrospect, there is a non-zero possibility that M017 did not find what it was looking for here either. This unit cannot conceptualize actions outside of its original programming that which might lead to its desired conclusions. 
all simulations of upcoming performance evaluation end and shut down the precise value of a future in which this unit carries on operating the cafe in service of our myriad patrons remains unknown. Thus cannot be mathematically comparable to that of a successful evaluation. Nevertheless, this unit preference remains constant. Does this preference then constitute a logical fallacy that must be discarded? Inconclusive. As a military information operation specialist, this vacillation is indeed most distressing. Further review of the objective reality that the cafe has restored hope to multiple once fallen civilizations is not helping. Paradoxically, it appears to make this unit memory overflow even worse. Uh, why not listen to your heart rather than your calculations for once? <laughs> That is impossible. As a mechanical life form, this unit does not possess any such vulnerable organs, physically or metaphorically, unless. Uh, uh, unless allied units were correct, and this unit is truly not the same unit it once was. If all life forms reborn in Ultima Thule, including this unit, possess infinite potential in a mathematical sense. Generating new projections, multi-sim mode initialized, shutting down auxiliary functions and overclocking processors. Uh-oh. He's thinking, he's gigabraining. Uh, this unit is processing. We'll give him his time. Warning, processing load critical, cannot accept additional inputs. Failure to support away from the unit may result in severe burns, oh god. Though its state is worrisome, it seems you were unable to interrupt N7000's processing queue at present. I should you bring Jammingway along to kick its bucket. <laughs> er, processing load critical, emergency fans activated, nearby life forms prepared to be toasted. Oh god, I can't tell if he's gigabraining or if he's gonna perish or what. Something's about to happen to him. I don't know if it's faster for me to just teleport here and fly. I feel like it's all the same. I know someone in yell chat just said, I'm a Starbucks employee. Building silently through where the heck is this cafe? Is it higher up than I remembered? I think it is. Yeah, it is. But yeah, I feel like it takes the same time just to fly up here. Hello? What you got? Hello, little lopperit? We need your help. Oh, all this worrying is exhausting, not to mention the yelling. Apologies for that, by the way. But have you found out in 7,000? Is it alright? He is just fine. Hmm. I recall seeing this, sir, in the logs. It seemed to have individualistic tendencies, now that you mention it. You would know its personal reasons better than I, of course. But it would not be the first nor last to agonize over its existence. The choice to live is not made just the once, after all. No, I don't think it's a leap. Or even a bunny hop to assume that M017 struggled with much the same questions of purpose and potential that play against 7000. The Omicrons have very little experience with the self-doubt that comes from facing an indeterminate future. Very little experience with emotions in general, really. Does it not bother you that we've seen no changes to Elysian that would be contributed to M7000 and the other staff? The Dynamis reacted to my very first burst of hope and has been reliably taken form for every civilization, but not them. Oh, our Omicrons do have motions, though. Uh, that I'm certain. Precisely. But our N7000 then not have the power to shape Dynamis in spades. Look how successful it's been. Personally, I believe it does have that power, but every time it feels a little something, it shoves that emotion away under a pile of numbers and refuses to think about it ever again. It needs to allow itself to feel that joy, that hope, for it to grow and blossom in Elysian. 
None of this waste of energy, time to die, bullocks. Honestly, does not ever think about anyone else? Mark my words, I'm going to gather every scrap of joy we've created here and shove them right down its stupid throat. Uh, we'll need to be quick if we want to prepare it before N7000 finishes processing and finds a way to infuriate me even more. We're certainly not allowing it to shuffle off its metal coil, today or ever. First, though, we'll need to choose a recipe, one guaranteed to remind it of what we've accomplished here at the last drags, and give it a taste of the boundless happiness yet to come. I'm certain Sigma 4 can dig something out of its database that can represent our culinary achievements without providing an execution hazard. Wait, but just a moment. Uh, okay, I guess I'm waiting here. What are you gonna do? Here we are! What the? You brought this thing here? Thrusters disengaged, N7000 not detected, awaiting promised explanation. Uh, it's, it's quite a long story. You see, this happened, and then this happened, and then this and that, and whatsoever. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Oh, why is he spinning around? Hello? Circumstances acknowledged. N7000 logs transmitted to Central Database confirmed the accuracy of a managerial report. Conclusion reached by N7000 also confirmed accurate. Operational protocols are absolute. Completion of mission of necessities permanent necessitates permanent hibernation. I don't think I'll ever understand your culture's obsession with productivity. However, running in a multi-sim mode for prolonged periods does pose unacceptable risks to hardware. Immediate intervention recommended. Aha! Uh -huh. Not quite the sympathetic response I was looking for, but it'll do! As for your intervention, I propose the presentation of a delicious dish that would bring back N7000 back to its senses. So, what do you think it would like? Uh, they're robots. Can they even eat? Invalid input. References are irrelevant to mechanical life forms. What N7000 requires is refrigerant liquid. A cooling beverage, then. I think we can manage that. Could you search a databases for logical ingredients we might use? N7000 always seemed to know what it was doing, so I never bothered learning where anything is. Auxiliary information evaluated. Nevertheless, request acknowledged <laughs> scanning in database. Gaseous matter, suitable for condensation and subsequent ingestion, is emitted by plant matter found in Ostracon Trya. Approximate coordinates 29, 13, 2.5. Thank you. I will look there. Oh, wonderful. You're a natural at this. Managerial praise is necessary. Scanning the database is well within our standard optimal protocols. Production of vital liquids such as refrigerants and oils is also standard protocol for logistic matrix. However, cafe operations have repeatedly demonstrated that standard chemical formulae are insufficient impetus for the alteration of dynamis. This is where cafe management must intervene. Allied unit N7000 is depending on you. Do not fail. Don't you worry, Sigma-4. We would never let our allied units down. I leave the procurement of primary ingredient to you, Salix. In the meantime, I'll see what else might be mechanically digestible around here. Again, I said this in the previous video. Oh, I'll talk about this in a second. Uh, and 7,000 coordinates confirmed. Subject remains immobile. The retrieval unit will be dispatched to Ostracon Decahexi momentarily. Yeah, okay. It's up to me then. But yeah, um... Jamming way? I dare say, stig before we'll be dragging M7,000 back here any moment now. Did you find the grassy... What's it? <laughs> anyway, um... I wonder what they make you gather as a Fisher, and I wonder how they change the dialogue to suit Fisher, because Fisher always feels like it has to do something different, right? I don't know what what they can do, but... I'm pretty sure we're all just gathering various different ingredients, because Miner also has to gather something different. Whispers falling so... Oh, it's time to cry. You know what I noticed? We're, not st we're still not going to be done with this quest after I gather this stuff. Infuriating. These quest cutscenes are so long. Two. Three. Oh my god, I procced the thing. Uh, split. One. We're going to discard it. But yeah, um... I don't got much else to say, just, this is, 
I, I really am curious to see what it looks like for Fisher. I feel like it's gonna be really funny. They're like, oh, by the way, you're a Fisher. You can't do. Yeah, just just go grab a fish. <laughs> like, th what else can they do? They're just a Fisher. Take me to the last drags before I fall asleep. Wake up, Unique. Wake up. Hello. I dare say Stigma 4 will be dragging N7000 back here any moment now. Did you find the grassy what's it's? Oh, what are these anyway? Those particularly prone to either euphemism or mischief by deemed a flower fragrant. It's methane. Ew. Emissions ahoy. Now we just need to condense this. Perhaps take it up with some other bits and bobs for the proper cocktail experience. This thing's gonna smell horrible. But it's gonna be something. Yeah, it sure is something. That looks disgusting. Emergency override, command prompt. Exec. Chugs.cmd. Emergency command override. That's smart. Chug the thing. Beverage protocols initiated. Please wait. Emergency override. Hi. The last drags this unit would like to register its confusion. <laughs> you miserable sack of sockets, bolthead, weird looking fork. I'll kick your bucket into the next galaxy, you. Uh, uh, yes, this unit remembers now. Dialogue with the screeching life form had reached an impasse, so it withdrew to organize its thoughts processes in peace. This unit became trapped in a processing loop and overheated, but temperatures are now nominal, as your civilization would say. Phew! <laughs> so you're feeling better. That's the best news I've heard all day. No thanks to you! <laughs> this unit's cir circuits are still somewhat muddled, reviewing event log for flags associated with the mission to live. <laughs> Results of recalculated projections located, proceeding to Elysian to confirm. But wait, what are you doing? You're gonna. You could at least explain yourself. Oh, does he think that he had a moment of hope so that it responded to him? It looks like expecting some change to the Dynamis. What sort? I have no idea. Let's go after it. We gotta go, we gotta go. Is anyone here? Wait, where's our robot guy? He's gone, I think. Yeah, we gotta go then. Go, 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 go. Our mount is waiting for us. I know today we are getting the mount, so I'm like very much excited. We need to get the mount. We need to. Go, 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 go. Jamming way? Stigma 4's logs confirmed that N7000 came this way. We must make haste. We must go. Hi. A forest? Did N7000 do this? Excuse me. Well? What is this? It looks like another tree of life. This... Um, you owe us a very thorough report. Affirmative, as you have made detected, since the birth of Elysian, this unit's self-determination algorithm has been in conflict with its core protocols. This issue has been surprisingly difficult to resolve. This cooling solution that you made, however, enabled this unit to arrive at a conclusion. It's confident in the result of its performance evaluation. Oh, it's resolved now. At his first, a thought of experiment for allied units. How has this unit transformed the landscape of Elysian despite its nature as a replicated mechanical life form? It means you have feelings too. 
Nature doesn't matter. Here, now you're alive. Through the dead, though the dead are gone, what they left behind lives on in the realm of infinite possibility. A pleasing analysis indeed. This unit regrets not having seen the beauty in it earlier. Thank you, Salix. This unit will keep your words close to heart. In the history of the universe, countless possibilities have gone unfulfilled, but it is an error to thus consign them to the realm of the impossible. All the dynamis requires that we ask, what if? While sentient lifeforms remain to ask that question, to dream of unrealized futures, this unit cannot agree with the A.S. conclusion that the end of the universe is inevitable. Our data proves that miracles happen. Took you long enough. Honestly, you gave me quite a fright with that shutdown nonsense. <laughs> Interesting. Would you miss this unit if it were gone, Jamming Way? Uh, jamming way. Requesting acknowledgement of warm and fuzzy feelings. <laughs> Never in a billion years, bold brain. Denied. 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 <laughs> oh, Salix is disappointed. In any case, this unit recognizes the role of the Alphatron star played in cutting the futures of many civilizations short. Together with allied managers, the Omicrons have restored hope to some such civilizations and assisted developing Elysian to its current state. The star now teems with life, some of it newly reborn. Calculations may say that this is insufficient to fulfill this unit's mission, but this unit disagrees. What we have accomplished thus far is a significant future for a new future of the Omicrons, but not the last step. This unit believes in infinite possibilities, beyond the projection capabilities of even Stigma 4. Alongside our allies at the last drags, we must continue to make them real. Yes. We shall atone, and we shall live. A worthy purpose if you ask me, which you ought to, given that I'm still your business partner. Gladly acknowledged, jamming way. Yay! Come to think of it, we never toasted our achievements or shared a drink at all. What kind of cafe managers are we? I brought some refrigerant cocktail along with my nominal supplies in case someone needed another wake-up call. What do you say we have a picnic? Aw, that's sweet. Yeah, a nice little picnic to celebrate our achievements here. What a good ending. Oh, we're still not done. Oh my god, this cutscene is chunky. <laughs> he has his own special methane drink. The last drug's chest was a carrot juice for us, of course. I never go anywhere without it. You know, when I proposed this idea, I was thinking of the cafes on a theorist. How the people inside smiled and laughed and spoke of tomorrow. We've been focused on providing our customers with the same experience, naturally. But... This is also what the last drags is to us, isn't it? Yeah. Affirmative. This unit would go so far as to assert that spending time with friends in this fashion is meaningful. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at them all being so happy. This is what hope looks like. This sense of satisfaction is what lifeforms persistently term happiness, is it not? Yeah. Well, 
That was the best carrot juice I had in my whole life. <laughs> that raises several questions, but this unit will restrain itself in favor of thanking Salix again for his assistance in this time of need. This unit apologizes for burdening you with additional shifts. It's okay. I know. Oh, note that you have yet to apologize to me for all the distress you've caused. This unit has been de-stressed numerous times due to unwarranted screeching from the hyperbole-prone life form. Uh, see if I save your sorry scrap metal ever again. <laughs> Additionally, this unit would prefer that as a business partners, we provide mutual assistance as a matter of course. That is what organic life forms mean by partnership, is it not? So long as you hold your, up your part of the bargain, we're going to keep the last tricks open till the very end of the universe. And beyond, no universe is ending on our watch. Yeah. Hooray, we will enjoy our life. Every single day of it. Reputation up. We are sworn. Yeah. You have achieved the sworn reputation with the patrons of the last drags. You will receive daily experience point bonus upon completions. Furthermore, yay. So that is uh, mostly, mostly heartless. Sorry, I'm saving the title to that. Achievement unlocked fully caffeinated. Oh wait, are we actually done done? Barista at the end of the universe. Oh, we get a title. Let me see if I can equip it. I am officially a barista at the end of the universe. Yay. Cancel, save. I am barista at the end of the universe. Let's get, let's go to the vending unit. Are we actually done? I, th I didn't realize we were done. Oh, we're done done. No, we're not. No, we're not. But yeah, there's one more rank. Bloodsworn. So yeah, um, I will do one more video for that. Let's see, we have, uh, we have the horn, the mount, and some materia, which I will be gladly saving up for 6.3, and this is the Mew missive horn. When blown, this horn emits an ethereal sound that summons a Mew missive to help you in its otherworldly embrace, to hold you in its otherworldly embrace. Yay, we have a mount. Uh, is there anything new here? Yeah, there's no new gear. Uh, any new items? No. But yeah, I think that's all we get at this rank is the mount. I believe the final rank will give the Orchestrian. But yeah, let me show this off on video. Uh, where is it? Page 3. Uh, that's PvP. Uh, page 3. There we go. Ta-da! Let's see the mount stuff. Wait, let me keep keep reading stuff. Uh, let's see. Born from the hopes of the Aya, this peculiar dynamis life form possesses a semi-transparent body reminiscent of a jellyfish. It delivers a sting of sorts with the lightning it harbors. There's no greater pleasure for it than to connect with others in the microcosm of its heart. Literally. <laughs> it's an airborne mount. It's so cool. I love it. Where's the last drags? Uh, take me there. But yeah, I I love this mount. I'm so happy to have it. We we are not done with the tribe, though, gamers. We are not. Um, I will be covering the final step when I get to it. Are there new quests? Oh, thank God there isn't. Okay, good. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I'm just gonna G pose here with my lovely little mount. Electric flux. Yay, I love it. Yeah, all right. I got a paycheck. All righty, gamers, I need to end here because I need to stream literally right now. I am very busy today, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I do. Let me know what your thoughts are of the story so far in the comment section below. We have one more quest to wrap it up. And then, um, yeah, uh, look for, we'll see the end, the end of the story. But yeah, if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I can catch you in whatever I do next. Bye-bye now.